Now, polling stations have opened across South Africa in the country's seventh fully democratic election since the end of apartheid. Voters will be casting their ballots in both parliamentary and provincial elections. Well, Al Jazeera's Famila Miller joins us live now from Soweto in Johannesburg. Famila, so this is a pretty significant election for South Africa. What are voters saying then? What are their main concerns then? Well, we've spoken to a couple of people, a handful of people have lined up this morning uh, just before the polls opened, and they've said that they're happy to be here. It's important to always note that South Africa is just 30 years into democracy, and so especially for elderly people who are here, this is, um, you know, an opportunity that they didn't have for much of their life. They've said that they're happy. They've also said that they want change, and what people here say will be especially important to the governing party, the African National Congress, because it is facing its toughest election yet. Many people are unhappy with the governing party, unhappy with issues like service delivery. That party has also been accused of massive corruption. And they're just issues around some of the leadership and people ultimately saying that they want change. And that's what they're coming out to vote for. Now, the ANC, of course, would be relying on loyalty to that party, commitment the voters who are thankful to the party for its um, the role it played in terms of uh, the liberation struggle and ultimately bringing democracy democracy excuse me to South Africans but there is concern because there are a number of young people who are unhappy with the ANC and again that issue of change uh, comes to the fore and this is where people may turn out to perhaps uh, rock the boat, really, uh, uh, change the governance of the ANC and, and look at opposition parties more than ever before. Yeah, for me, and it's interesting because voter turnout has steadily declined over the years in South Africa. So what are we expecting today then? Well, in the last election, about 47% of voters turned out, and that was almost half of how many voters came out back in 1994. And so there really is concern around voter turnout. But this time around, there are about 28 million people registered to vote. And so if there's anything to go by, voter turnout may improve, especially, again, given how unhappy people are with the African National Congress. But projections are to some extent all over the place. Uh, some say that perhaps 47% uh, of people would turn out. That would be low. Um, perhaps a middle ground of uh, just about 50 or 60%. But there isn't great optimism around how many people will turn out. In fact, the ANC may benefit from a low voter turnout in that people will remain, those who come out are committed to the democratic process, but still loyal uh, to the ANC. Now, again, there we've also seen a number of polls and surveys come out in recent weeks and while they vary in terms of numbers all of them have the ANC polling at a, under 50 percent and so that may be the shakeup that we could see um, and also again attached to a voter turnout and just how badly the ANC may be affected and perhaps how opposition parties may grow. All right uh, Famida Miller live for us there in Soweto and Johannesburg. Famida thank you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.